So everybody is, of course, not surprisingly, absolutely delighted with it. No one can believe that it's as good as it is now. And it's the normal story that happens with old buildings when you save them, is that people, when they look at them in their rotten state, they don't see how you can possibly restore them or the benefit of doing that. When you've done it, nobody understands why everyone, anyone could have just wanted to knock it down in the first place. My name's Ella, um, me and my husband Drew, um, we run Locks Coffee Shop, which is situated at 5 Pitt Street. We live upstairs in, the, in one of the flats, there's three flats above in the residential section, and we run the coffee shop down below, which is called Locks. People um, uh, will follow the National Trust, they follow the National Trust progress in the building, and they've been very interested to see how um, the renovation has turned out. Um, I think the, um, the mixture of the old with the new has been really interesting for a lot of people because you've got so many rich, beautiful parts of the building with um, so much character, but then me and Drew have put a, a bit of a younger stamp on it and our style by um, merging the two together has been great for people to see, I think. And they wanted to demolish these buildings. So there was a two-year campaign uh, from these organisations and from local people to stop it being demolished. Uh, so a lot of people were very for saving these buildings, for good reason. Uh, it was eventually given to the National Trust effectively uh, for a pound and the National Trust then uh, decided to do them up and return them to what they were, which was residential accommodation above and now we have three flats and commercial units on the ground floor. So behind me is Locks Cafe in numbers five and numbers six, which was joined together originally as the foot shop. Uh, and number four is a small unit that has been turned into a gallery. For quite a long time I have kind of wanted a little gallery of some sort um, and it just seemed it could work because Ruth has her ceramic studio here um, and it's basically a, it's a showcase space, it's very small so it's not suitable for a big exhibition but just in terms of giving a little taste of what we both do I think it's perfect actually in a, in a very um, creative up and coming area and I hope that what we have done here in conjunction with the coffee shop sets almost like a precedent for the rest of town because it's the public response has been brilliant and they have memories of the buildings before they you know were um, dilapidated and disused so um, it's brought joy back in, into a lot of people's lives to see it uh, reborn again as an area. The art is in keeping the pattern of age, the pleasing appearance of the outside, using traditional materials, using tr traditional techniques for putting them together and so on. And all of that results in a building that people like. Yeah. The fireplace is great and what I love with the fireplace is actually the story about it because it was all boarded up. Oh yeah, that's all true. that wall yeah. was boarded yeah. up with plasterboard and when the trust started kind of restoring the building, they took the plasterboard off and out came these two cupboards um, and the fireplace, but there wasn't a fire surround around and they found that up in the loft, which fitted. Yeah. So, so it was still all there and I, I think it's just a lovely thing that, that um, we have got all these original features quirky, these funny shelves with a kind of uh, triangular <laughs> shelves, yeah, shelves that, uh, yeah.